know I look like this. And all his hot stuff is gone. She cannot stand him. I'm John Enson, and welcome to another edition of Talk Soup. You can feel your corneas roasting and your IQ plummeting. You could be standing too close to your television set. Hey, uh, Sissy Biggers, formerly of Biggers and Summers, has landed on her feet. All right, I'm very happy about that. She'll be hosting a new game show on the Food Network called Ready, Set, Cook. <laughs> wow. Not bad, huh? The show used to be called Ready, Set, Deep Fry, but tragically its host was boiled to death in a giant vat of bacon grease, oh. so we hope Sissy will fare better. Congratulations, Sissy! Hey. Coming up on today's show, Charlie Chase and Lori Ann Crook make out. Almost. Dennis Rodman dons lipstick on national television again, and Ann Abernathy fills up her co-host. <laughs> you didn't know I look like this. Oh, <laughs> wow! Poor Tammy. Never got past first base. First up, it takes a special kind of a guy to be a cross-dressing beauty pageant contestant. It takes a guy with breasts. The good news is, all these Jerry Springer guests qualify. Here they are, strutting their stuff on the runway in Daytona Beach, Florida. Take it away, gentlemen. must have been at least a 4.0 in the booty meter. My goodness, it's lucky we're all alive. Whew. Thursday on Jerry, meet a young woman who's dating a gang leader by the name of G. Wiz. She's been with him for more than two years, but her friends think they should break up. Something about the hyphen, I think. Oh, no, here it is, after shock. Oh. 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 That is one shaky booty. Barbara says her husband, Cecil, is a real control freak. He thinks such comments are totally out of line. After all, he didn't give her permission to badmouth him. This is a totally unauthorized outburst. Uh -huh. Maybe that's why he seems a little shaken up in the Sally highlight. Here's Barbara telling the free world how her man tries to boss her around. It's Cecil's way or no way, right? Exactly. That's right. He just is so demanding and controlling. Um, he, if I think about going to the store without him saying it's okay, you know, he, he has a fit. I took my daughter Christmas shopping. Um, I got home, he wasn't home, but he had been home, and wrote a note saying, I don't know why you did this, I told you, you should have gone on Saturday, and this was not authorized. <laughs> Just her husband, right? You are not her mother or her father to tell her what, when, where, and how. You did not give birth to her. I keep so who the hell are you other than the man who put the ring on her? I your daughter. And I'm 30. And I keep telling him I'm 30. How does your daughter like? How does your daughter feel about him? Truthfully, absolutely truthfully, she cannot stand him. <laughs> Jeez, that's funny, because I love him. Cecil says he's a believer in tough love. Barbara doesn't know whether she wants to stay with him or not. Thursday on Sally, get to know some homeless teenagers. These kids say they'd rather live on the street than return to the dysfunctional homes they ran away from. I can explain the following CBS This Morning highlight in one word. Frogs. 
This is a Chaco horned toad? What, what is this uh, indigenous toad? Well, he's, he's from Argentina. Uh, most people think of frogs as being in ponds. This guy has adapted to life in the, in, the, in the desert. He literally buries himself down during the dry season, secretes a cocoon to retain moisture, which is very important for all frogs. What's the cocoon made of? Uh, mucus. It secretes the mucus from his skin. Their skins are like chemical factories. So they secrete this cocoon and, and they wait okay. for the rains to come. Here's, here's a nice looking frog. This is a waxy tree frog? A waxy monkey tree frog. Uh, this is also adapted to uh, life in uh, very dry, arid environments. And it actually secretes, you can see a sheen on the skin. It uh, secretes a, a waxy substance that mm -hmm. literally moves around, uh, spreads it over its body with its, its limbs. So a lot, a lot of frogs take in water through their skin, but this one This doesn't. one can't. It actually has to drink water. Wow, great looking frog. We've, we've got sort of the mother of all toads, uh, <laughs> if, if you will. I saw these uh, all over the place when I lived in Florida. Look at this toad. What's this one called? It's a marine toad. They're uh, indigenous to uh, Central and South America, but they've been introduced all over the world, so they're, they're thousands of them in Florida. This is also called a bufo toad? Bufo, yeah, they call them bufo. Mm, which uh, has a little bit of toxin, and sometimes people lick that toxin to right. try to get high. Yeah. That was Mike Mulligan, curator of the amphibian collection at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Remember, kids, bufos are addicting. I've never known a person who could lick just one. <laughs> Thursday on CBS This Morning, Robert Loggia will be talking about his role in the sci-fi thriller Independence Day. His co-stars include Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum. We have more soup coming up, including the many loves of Dennis Rodman. Also, Lorianne Crook and Charlie Chase kissed for the very first time. But first, look out, Jim Jay is in a, well, a family way. <laughs> This is Talk Soup. I'm John Anthon, but don't quote me on that. Something tells me Jim J. Bullock didn't receive a lot of attention as a child, so these days he's making up for lost time. And this Jim J. and Anna I like, he shows off a whole new look. No, it's not another kilt or more women's underwear. This time it's a bulging belly and some swollen breasts. <laughs> okay, can't wait to see this. You didn't know I look like this, Anne. Right. You don't know me that well. You're right. This oh, is a, what oh my lord! This, all this about? is a pregnancy suit. You know how I like to experience things, Anne. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. want to know what it felt like to be pregnant. I, you know. I mean, I mean, this is like they actually have these. Well, you know? no, they do. They have these. They have this. <laughs> no, 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 it, for men. It, this is unbelievable. I didn't know you were putting all this on. It's weighted and everything. This thing's got weights inside everything, and it's like it's really weird because it's a real suit. I mean, you can't really see in everything like we'll like see right now. Turn around. But I mean, well, you don't really get the full effect. It's, isn't that pretty? Uh, you're not too bad. I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna do a, a centerfold now. <laughs> Is it over, John? Yeah, I think it is, but I'm, I'm not taking any chances. Me neither. Okay, Thursday on Jim J and Ann. Something, anything, but hopefully it's not Jim J posing for cheesecake photos dressed as a pregnant woman. I can't handle that. It's not even fall, and already we got a new show to debut. We'd like to officially welcome Home and Family to the Talk Soup lineup. Hey, hey, all right. Home and Family is a program that deals with the issues affecting parents and homeowners. Here are hosts Christine Farrar and Chuck Woolery chatting with former Talk Soup guest Ron Lucas. You may remember Ron as the detective in charge of the Dexter search in a sketch we did a couple of weeks ago. In this clip, he's put aside his ventriloquist dummy and has ventured into the world of... cheap sock puppets. What? Line the knuckles up with the heel, tuck the toe back. Knuckles up with the heel, okay. I know. What do you think? Oh, look okay. at Hello that. there, yeah, okay. except the mouth won't stay, so you need rubber bands, which is what I happen to have here. There's a whole bunch there. And that'll, like, hold the mouth in place. What do you think? <laughs> Hello. Now, if you use Velcro to make eyes... Oh, this is going by really fast. Oh, here. Okay, okay, really okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, I need I'm to really put impressed. this thing in here with the... Like okay. A... Hi there. Now, you can make okay. it smile. Okay. <laughs> I need an eye. <laughs> I only have one eye. What do you think? Uh, it sort of looks like a puppet on acid. I know. Yeah, yeah okay, hang on a second. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Here you go. You're supposed to talk. Like, okay. Quiet. Do something. Hello. Okay. All right. Now, Hello. Um, Right. Now, if you use oh. other rubber bands to yeah. hold pieces in place, can I have one? Yes, here you Thank go. Thank you very much. Pieces in place. Well, here's what I've got. I've got another sock, but we're going to pretend it's hair this time. If you tuck it like that, it looks like hair. 
Yeah. Yeah, see, you're not male, you're going to be female. Oh, I am. I didn't know. There you go, see? <laughs> and then you have a little scarf here, and you've got like a dress. Often imitated, never duplicated. They will be hearing from my attorney in the morning. <laughs> right after he finishes suing those Snapple guys. Oh, oh yes. yes. Mr. Robert Shapiro, a senior sock on the line for you, sir. <laughs> Thursday on Home and Family, me. No, that's not right. <laughs> Thursday at Home and Family, celebrate the 4th of July in style. Christina and Chuck will be hosting a star-spangled salute to me. No, actually, all right, it's to our country's birthday, whatever. Same thing. Kim Keller and her 22-month-old daughter Katie were found murdered in their home. The police don't have any clues to go on, and they've yet to make an arrest. But they do say they've ruled out Kim's husband Ken as a suspect. Kim's mother Bessie hasn't. Frankly, she thinks Ken did it. As you're about to see in this Maury highlight, Bessie's not afraid to say so, despite Ken's alibi and the fact that he passed a lie detector test. Let's get something straight right now. You're not suspect in this. That's right. The police don't think you're a suspect. No. I, at first, of the course. The person who did. thinks you're a suspect is right here. That's right. Ken, what about the other things? Why didn't you go to the funeral? The I went to, we, Why, you went to the memorial. Why didn't you go to the memorial? she asked for the bodies. I, I gave her the bodies. We had a we had a beautiful service. Wasn't that beautiful at, at our, beautiful in our hometown? We're all right my friends, by all my people daughter, who... and didn't even bother to glance at her. You didn't look at her in the casket. You did not. You went running by her, fell on Katie, and two of your friends pulled you off her. You never once looked at Kim. I was yes, watching you. These Kim. are all subjective observations. Well, during a very stressful time, I. I don't remember half the things I, you know, when you get shocked so much, you were shocked also. I How can, can you... John Brown well guarantee you if my husband was laying there and my daughter, I would have looked at both of them. I did, Bessie. No, you didn't. Thursday on Maury, check out some remarkable reunions, including a man who hasn't seen his cousin in 30 years who learns he doesn't even have a cousin. Wow. <laughs> There's a surprise for you. That's remarkable. Still ahead on Talk Soup, is Dennis Rodman really dating Princess Di? And after this break, meet Joe. He wants to have a threesome with his pregnant wife and another woman. All right. You're watching Talk Soup because, frankly, you got nothing better to do. My name is Macbeth. Let this Marilyn Kagan highlight be a lesson to all of our male viewers. When your wife is four months pregnant, don't start suggesting three-way flings with other women. Duh! She's already suffering from a negative body image. She's bound to hit the roof and then drag you onto the Marilyn Kagan show so you can pay for your transgressions. After all, look what happened to Joe. It's a good thing he's a smooth talker. Otherwise, he'd really be in trouble. Now, what is this about for you that you're crying? Is it because of the words or because you're still scared? Because, um, well, I'm pregnant. Yes, you are. And I already felt insecure. Yes, I know, honey. Mm. And then, you know, yeah. I just don't want to lose him over, you know, you know a sexual act. If you lose him over a sexual act, the, re the relationship and the marriage was not built on love and compassion. And I look in Joe's eyes and all his hot stuff is gone and he's just a good guy who loves you. And in the next six months or five months, however long you're going to keep this baby inside the oven, she's going to need that extra care and love. Her hormones are going to be racing out of the out of the room. She's going to feel ugly and fat and insecure, and she's going to need you to make sure that you do your part in bringing this healthy baby into the world, which is being loving and compassionate to your wife. Okay, you going to do it? Well, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. This is just so. And you know what, Joe? You need to wipe those jokes away. Easy, folks. Joe can't help it if he's a bit of a jokester. Later in the show, he said he loves Amina with all his heart and he would never, ever leave her for another woman. Now, two other women, that's a different story. Come on, it's funny! Not as... That taste in my mouth after that joke, sorry. Thursday, Marilyn will be preempted just for the fun of it. I bet she and her guests are gonna have some issues to work out when they get back, huh? Mark is a freewheeling rock and roll dude with a feeling for the ladies. Funny thing is, beneath that hairy hard rock facade beats the heart of a real pussycat. You see, Mark has fallen for one of his one night stands and he wants to take their relationship to a whole new level. The trouble is, 
Misty can't stand him. Oh, well. Maybe Montel can help them work things out. Did you do the wild thing? <laughs> you can't remember? I can remember. Can you? Well, I think she can remember, too. Please welcome Misty back to the show. conversation with Misty. Misty, you told him what? You were engaged. Is that right? Yes, I did. And is that true? No, sir. Well, why um, did you tell him you were engaged? I didn't want him to call me anymore. So, there did, you go. You, did you know that, Mark? If she would have said up front, you know, hey, I don't think it's going to work out. You travel all the time. You know, it's, it just wouldn't work out. That'd be a lot cool. That could have been a lot easier than... Uh, Wait, it had nothing to do with traveling. What did it have to do with? We didn't click at all. I was intoxicated the night that we spent together. He's nothing that I would ever consider being what I would look for in a man. And so... Wow. Am I bleeding? Are you bleeding? <laughs> no, I don't That's think harsh. so. You feel like you are? No, it's a harsh, harsh one. Here's one of the ways Mark used to romance Misty. He'd call her up in the middle of the night and tell her to get a breast job so she could support him by working as a topless waitress. Right. <laughs> okay. What do you expect from a rock and roll dude in a Century 21 blazer? <laughs> Thursday on Montel, I want my baby back. Meet teen mothers who entrusted their kids to their moms and now want them back. The catch is, these grandmothers don't want to give up the children they've been raising. Is it just my imagination or is this crook and chase highlight completely awash in sexual undercurrents? Kissing expert William Kane is the guest. Here he is orchestrating and then analyzing a smooch between Lorianne and Charlie. Huh? You heard me right. These two darlings of the Nashville network are actually going to be locking lips on national TV. Shh, don't tell their spouses. If it's well, on the so, lips or on the cheek. Well, you're saying goodnight, so you're, you're, you don't know. So we'll see what happens, okay? <laughs> You never know. You you want you want a kiss on the lips. Everybody wants the kiss on the lips, but you're afraid that the other person doesn't want it. So you get closer. Take a little tiny baby step towards each other. Take another baby step. Did you have onions last night? Before? Only a cigar. Talk about how fresh your breath is. Yeah, you had a mint, and now you you get closer. No, 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 no. no. Well, she's making this too intimate. See, we're like, oh, okay. why, why don't you say talk? It'll make it easier. Like, okay. I mean, it was see, a good she's show. fired up. She's being next to no. She's fired up. I know. You know. I know. Okay, so the show's over, and okay. Oh, it's like, hey, you know, see you later. Oh. Yeah. For those of you at home, wait a minute. Let's analyze that. It was so wet. It was no, no, no. You know, I got that nice. cigar thing transferred over. <laughs> it was half. It was half. It was like half lip, half cheek. Now, what does okay. that tell you, Bill? That, that, that there's some excitement going on. <laughs> Whoa, you're telling me. I think we're going to have to take a look at that one more time in slow motion, please. Charlie goes in for the approach and... Oh! Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go to a wide shot so we don't see anything graphic happen there. <laughs> William amassed most of his research for his book, The Art of Kissing, through email and the Internet. <laughs> Thursday on Crick and Chase, check out some hot new men's swimwear fashions. Because <laughs> that means Charlie will model the latest Speedos on the market. Might be a good time to take the day off. When we return, it's our soup of the day. NBA rebounding champ Dennis Rodman walks, talks, and lives the life. When he's not grabbing rebounds, Dennis Rodman leads the life of a regular bon vivant. He's been linked in the tabloids with everyone from Madonna to Mother Teresa. And this Tonight Show highlight, he responds to rumors of possible trysts with Princess Di and Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Now, they had you link to Cindy Crawford. Now, what did she come? She came to a couple she of games. She came to the MTV uh, House of Style. And, yeah, um, yeah. We fooled around a little bit. You know, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Let's go over that part, the fooling around. No, you know, as far as doing the bathing suit and things like that, yeah, you, you yeah. saw I didn't have a, you know, the, that thing, you know. You know, when I had the bathing suit on, right, right. it was pretty, it pretty much had a flat tire. But. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, you know, I was fine. It was, it was a great set, but um, there's nothing there. So, no, so you're not dating Sid? No, not, no, no, no. not yet. Now, how about Princess Di? <laughs> not, not, not yet? <laughs> but you, you'd like to go out with her? No, not really. She, she's, a good, she's a good person. Yeah. Good how about, person. Now, Princess Di, 
Now, I, I see in the tablet I have you linked to Prince. Did you see her when she was in Chicago? I saw her on TV. Oh, you didn't no. meet her? No, I don't, think, I don't think the Royal Highness would like me to be next to her unless she just, you know. <laughs> you know, that's about it, you know. But that I, was a... I, I think she needs a little bit more the bad boy image in her. You think so, yeah? I, I, think, think, she... Prince, I think Prince Charles would give her enough of, you know. Yeah, sure. Okay, I think we got our quote of the week right here. Now, if we can only get a hundred-year-old Avon lady to put some lipstick on Dennis. Okay. Look pretty when you put that on. Oh, you want to put it on? Should I put it on? Should I put it on? I to get the side to you. Okay. All right. It's like... Uh... Yeah! That was Avon lady Rosie Grease, not to be confused with ex-football player Rosie Greer. Or character actress Rosie Perez. That's right. Or talk show host Charles Perez. Well, Charles is in charge. Ah, uh, yes, but Joni loves charging. Good point, Fred. Thank you very much. Okay, Thursday on The Tonight Show, Jerry Seinfeld will be staring wistfully off into space like he is there in that picture. Jerry, you been licking those bufo toads again? What's the story? <laughs> Just look what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Why, it's a 73-year-old sugar mama with a 23-year-old boyfriend. 18 children. And you have 40 grandchildren? Mm-hmm. Wow. And you have a 23-year-old lover? Is that called robbing the cradle? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm really, really disturbed now. I'm, I'm, I've had enough for one day. <laughs> See you tomorrow.